Mm, 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 mm. It's very quiet in here. <laughs> Hi, travelers, adventurers, scavengers, and I don't know, strangers. Sure. <laughs> My name is Vinnie Mercy, and I welcome you to this wonderful adventure that is uh, the game menu. <laughs> so, as you saw from the title, this is a special episode to celebrate the 10 subscribers in the channel. Yay! We're 10 people! <laughs> Welcome! Um, I will talk about how this special is going to work in just a second, but for now, I want to talk about uh, the reason of why I picked Animal Crossing New Horizons. And well, from, um, from the plan that I have, I thought it was the best option. And well, here are all the games that I hope to get to play in the channel in the future. Just a little peep into the future, but that will happen as soon as we finish Stardew Valley, Dragon Quest Builders 2 and Fire Farm. But yeah, so let's be patient, okay? <laughs> but yeah, for now, the special is just going to be Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let's go <laughs> with my with my original account, the Ash one. Oh, I had to make that one for a Fire Farm, but I already spoke about that in the Fire Farm playthrough. But yeah. As for the Animal Crossing special, let me explain. This will be 5 videos of 1 hour and 20 minutes each, where we just play Animal Crossing and have a good time. Only to celebrate the 10 subscribers, of course. And once we're done with those said uh, 5 episodes, then we resume our normal upload schedule of uh, Stardew Valley, Dragon Quest Builders 2 and Fair Farm. But yeah, for now, please enjoy these five episodes of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let's say hello to Timmy. Let's say, up there says Nook Inc., Deserted Island Getaway Package, Paquete de Escapada a Islas Desiertas. Alright, good afternoon! We're so excited to have you here! Have you here! Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure! Welcome! to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package! There is so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I am Timmy from with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy! We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul. So, let's get started, shall we? Yeah, yeah. The first step is checking your application. Is this your first time applying for one of our packages? You know, this is my uh, second time playing Animal Crossing, but for the people who are new to the game, we're going to say that yes, it is our first time. Understood, stop. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? Yes, all right, so. I want to play as Ma, as one of my favorite characters actually, Marth from Fire Emblem. This seems a little random to you possibly, <laughs> but see, there are several types of players within games that allow you to customize your character. Some people choose to play as themselves, some other people choose to play as the default or as a randomized character. Some others enjoy making a silly character <laughs> that's just fun and laughter. And then there's players like me who enjoy playing as their very, very favorite characters everywhere they go, no matter the game. And Marth from Fire Emblem is one of my favorite characters, so let's go with him. He was actually thinking, or more like deciding, between Marth and Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> but I figured that for Animal Crossing, Marth will be more fitting than Sephiroth, you know? <laughs> also, I know Marth's birthday. It's April 20. It's 420. I remember because there are memes about it and as my favorite character, I was like, yay, Marth, you got the funny haha -ha meme <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Confirm. It's April 20th your birthday. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah. Marth, Marth, let's see. Oh, yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Marth. Oh, 
don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are. Very well. Choose. Please choose your style. You can change this later. We can pick between feminine and masculine. Let's go with masculine. Now, as for Marth, well, I am aware that the first hairstyles don't have blue hair color. <laughs> so we're gonna pick black, all right? Just until we unlock the blue hair dye, all right? A black hair Marth. Isn't that quite something? Uh, let's see, let's go with blue. Luckily, blue is a color we can pick <laughs> within the eye color. Do we go with little smile or with big smile or with like a three of like a cat little face or with a tooth? <laughs> Wait, I think I'm, am I going too fast? Let me show you guys for the people who don't know, who have never played Animal Crossing. We can pick between this hairstyle, this one, this one, this one, and the last four are this one, this one, this one, which is the one we're going to pick, and this one. Look at that. They all look gorgeous. <laughs> but now let's, let's just go with that one. Now for the eyes, we can go, there's two variants, one with lashes and one without. We're going to be picking this one, but we can also play between this. Mm -hmm. Lashes up and lashes down. Oh, sleepy little boy. Or sleepy little boy with, <laughs> with uh, dark uh, bags under his eyes. No, that's not the name. This one or this one. I would say I would call it eyeshadow. Oh, that one like, he has a secret. <laughs> The square eyes, big square eyes. These nice looking ones without the eyelashes. These ones we're, which I believe are fairly popular mm -hmm. because they are very pretty, honestly. These ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the ones that look up front, directly up front. Oh wait, also these ones look up front. Mm -hmm. And lastly, the dot eyes. <laughs> Aren't they all cute? But I think I'm going to be saying, oh yeah, yeah, that, those ones. Also the mouth. Uh -huh. I'm going to be picking big smile. There we go. Noses we can pick between triangle, square and circle. I will keep the circle. We can also pick between these two. But for Mars, I want to go without them. Yeah, all right, I like that. Looks nice. I mean, a moth with black hair is unheard of. <laughs> but it, will, it was okay, I knew about this. Does everything look okay? You can change your look later. It looks okay. Great, you're all set. All set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting! Exciting! You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes! In fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current one. Current one! Current home, <laughs> sorry. So tell me, Marth, where do you live right now? Live now. Uh, let's say North America. Ah, excellent. That information really helped us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we we'll recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. Yay. There are a few more decisions to make. But does that sound okay to you so far? So far? Ah, let's press OK. Very good. We have a number of lovely un uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. 
Yay! Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size and they are, all, they are all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home! Very well. So all of these are randomly generated but we can only pick one. The rest will be gone forever. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That one has a little heart. <laughs> little heart pond, which we cannot access. The little leaf, it's the town hall or more like resident services. We cannot move that building. So for now, at least. So that means that we will be stuck in only that area of the islands. And I'm kind of leaning forward a map that has access to more than one corner of the island. So this one is discarded, unfortunately. So it could be one of these three. I kind of like the idea of this one only because it has a little base there at the shore that it's a greenery like a cliff right away open right away I mean ah uh, but that one would look lovely right with the island in the middle hmm well 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 yeah let's do this one I pick this one please is this the island you want we can reconsider <laughs> but no let's say okay Wonderful choice! Choice! I can't wait to show it off to you! Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. Yes? If you could only bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? It would be my sword! <laughs> if we're gonna be role-playing. A sleeping bag, a lamp, some food, or something to kill time. Hmm... I think I will pick honestly um a lamp, some food, a sleeping bag. I feel like uh, these three things could be improvised. Something to kill time. Well, I feel like the first three things could be improvised and it counts as something to kill time, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's just do general. General answer. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. Blush, blush. <laughs> Nook Inc. will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Hooray! Ding dong. Your attention, please. Uh, uh, package is ready for boarding. Oh, okay, okay. I thought uh, it was going too fast for me to read. No, it's stopping now. Okay. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Together. All right. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking this charter flight as part of Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. <laughs> you heard of the person, animal man? Let's just sit back and relax. I feel like it's important to show this footage just as the game begins so you can get a better idea as to what the game is gonna be about because at the beginning of the game there's a limited thing of options that you have to do so this serves as a good incentive also sorry but I feel like I have the responsibility to talk over the audio because I don't want to get copyrighted strike <laughs> right away, right? Especially not during a, a 10 subscriber special. Yeah. 
It's best to be safe than sorry. Da 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 da. Anuk Inc. Production. Well, that was quite nice. Wasn't it? Da 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 da. We are loading everybody. Don't worry about the loading screens. I feel like they only happen once a few times during the game. They take a while, but they don't happen too often. I remember. I remember. Here we are. <gasps> what kind of neighbors do you think we'll be having? Oh, I hope I get ugly villagers. <laughs> I like all types of villagers, but I feel like the ugly ones are the most interesting. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, oh my god. Look at our neighbors. I see a bald blue head right there. Oh, I'm so jealous. I wish I had a blue hair myself. <laughs> Hi, Timmy. We're here! Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I would hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now if you'd like to move L to follow us. I will move with L to follow you. And off he goes, the little one. <laughs> I guess it's best we follow them. Look at my neighbors. I can't wait to meet them. Oh, I love penguins. How did you know it's one of my favorite animals? Oh, oh, we can move. All right. <laughs> of course, I should have guessed. We can move. Uh, uh, uh. We can move. Uh, uh, uh. We can move. Welcome to Animal Crossing, everybody. Well, we're still not done with the uh, tutorials and all, so let's go talk with the fearless leader. Do I have to interact with any of you? I guess? Oh, yeah, I have to press A. Alright, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Daedra... Daedra here? Check. And how about Rold? Rold? And there's Marth, of course. Here I am, Prince of Altea. <laughs> Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Tom Nook, um, yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes! Oh, founder and president! He sounds important! Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island. So, congratulations! And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, yes, yes! I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and... Uh, ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. Alright, very well. So, let's talk with one of the guys. Here you go, Marth. Hi, Timmy. Your very own tent. Hand it over, please. Thank you. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, alright? Then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before my making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose... I suppose I should probably set you up with a map, too. Map, please. Thank you very much. Once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. How do I use the map? Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Alright. What happens if I continue talking to you? I'm afraid I'm just as new to these islands as you are, so I can't offer any recommendations quite yet. And I do have one more small favor to ask. Yes? 
Please don't pick up anything from the grounds. And please don't shake the trees either. No, no. Very well. The proper waivers must be signed first, hmm? Very well, I understand. It would be nice if we get an explanation about them first, before we do them ourselves. Wondering how much space your tent is going to take up? Try to imagine five folks standing side by side. That's how wide it is. Oh, and about three folks deep. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's easy to imagine. So, very well. Is there a way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it. If you... If you just stand, you can see the map in your right bottom corner. Also, if you use R, you can change the perspective, but that is about it. You cannot rotate it, pretty much. Very well. I see a box there. Mm -hmm. There's the limits. Let's see the map again. Wow! Also, I am playing on this on January, so we still have some snow. In the game, I mean. In the place where I live, there's no snow at all. <laughs> it's in fact quite hot around here. <coughs> oh, look at this. Little cliff, I would love to have my tent somewhere near it. But let's see. Where are we right now? Almost near the corner. Let's continue going down. Oh, you are Daedri. Or is it Daedra? I think it's Daedra. Hello. Yes, she's cute. You're... Wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're Marth, right? See? Told you I had it. I'm Daedra. I gotta tell ya. I'm excited to do this whole island thing. What ifs? <laughs> Looks like we're both having trouble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean... It's a pretty big decision. Of course, no matter where we settle down on this little island, at least we'll be neighbors. You're right. Daedra, can we also meet with our penguin friends, neighbor? I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe we should put our tent near our new neighbors. Hello, can we please see your face? Oh, he's cute! Rolf! Yo, I'm Rolf. You're Marth, right? Nice to meet you, bu -bu buddy. So, find a good place for a tent? I'm looking to pitch mine somewhere close to nature so I can train my body and my soul, bu -bu buddy. Oh, alright. Okay, so, I think I want it near the pond. Hmm. And how close are we to the to the main place area? Rather close, rather close. Huh. You know what? Maybe we should put all three tents around this little body of water. Let me see the map again. Yeah, okay, I like that idea. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I guess. So, he said to press X to open our inventory, so let's do that. Tent. Yeah, there's our tent. Alright. But before we do that, I think I want my house right about uh, 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 here. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, let's see. X tent built here. Should I put my tent here? Um, uh, let me imagine it. Oh, but it will remove the tree at our left. Is this a good spot? Uh, I need to rethink it. If I were to remove a tree, then I will remove the one at my right, actually. Let me see. How about here? Should I put my tent here? Let me imagine it, please. Imagining with my imagination. Is this a good spot? Hmm. Maybe just one tile to the left. <laughs> my goodness. <clears throat> also, no, I am not sick. Turns out that I have allergies. Seasonal allergies that I didn't know I had my whole life. <laughs> 
Still don't know to what though. All I know is that it's an allergy. Let's imagine it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Is this a good spot? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so happy I set up my tent. That's a big first step. Very well. Now, I believe that you can help your neighbors choose. You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. <laughs> I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it. And here's where it landed. So now this is my spot. Okay, another only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. Uh, hmm, is this a good spot for Daedra to leave? We can of course do that for her. Yeah, sure, okay, you can leave here, Daedra. Dra, dra, dra. For real, what ifs? Well, if you're sure. Actually, let's think about this a little. If I put my tent here... Oh, we can, we're imagining it. Looks nice, don't it? Yeah, it looks great. I'm not picky. Awesome. From now on, this won't be just anywhere on the island. It's gonna be my home, sweet home. There you go, friends. I can't believe I just got an awesome spot. I got such an awesome spot. You rock, what ifs? <laughs> I wonder how that rolled guy is doing. He might be having as much trouble as I was. Maybe you should go see if he needs help too. Very well. Let's see. How far is this from my tent? Oh, it's pretty close actually. Yeah, I was worrying that it's gonna be too far from me. I want my neighbors to be close to me. With that said, I think Rolf has a nice location also. Right, friends? Let me stand right here so I can see you. Uh, there we go. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying, trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gonna have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick. Trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Marth? Looks good to me. You think so? Awesome! Okay then, how about we do a little visualization exercise together? If I put my tent here... Oh, imagination! Yes, I can see my house from here! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Looks great! Alright, looks like we have a winner. I'm gonna put down stakes right here and never look back, b -b -b body <laughs> That was a tough decision, but you totally saved my glutes. <laughs> Don't tell me you already helped Daedra out too. You're like a... Uh, like a... Uh, a true champion. Oh, thank you! <laughs> I just got here, so I don't have anything ready, but I'm gonna reward you for this once I'm settled in. Well, looks like it's time to sprint back to the plaza, b -b buddy. <laughs> All right! And we automatically go there. Nice! Welcome back everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party! Yes, buddy! We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Alright, let's see. Timmy, Daedra, Tommy and Rolf can set up things here in the plaza. How about me? Meanwhile, Marth and I will work on gathering firewood, firewood and perhaps a little snack. Very well. Alright everyone, let's get to it. Marth, would you come see me for a moment? I will see you. And we automatically go there. Okay, nice. Let's see. So let's speak with Tom. Thomas! 
Ah, Marth, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So, when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Y, okay. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the orange-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they are real oranges. <laughs> real oranges, huh? All right. Can I talk with uh, everybody? After you've gathered up 10 tree branches, please talk to our boss, Mr. Nook. Very well. And what do you have to say? I love camping. I'm pumped to get everything ready, Papa Body. Oh, he's so cute. Daedra, hello. Way to get those materials. I haven't gotten anything, but thanks. <laughs> the campfire is gonna be cracking in no time, what ifs? I think what ifs is her, her catchphrase. Hello. I'd appreciate it if you hold on to any weeds you pull up while you're gathering branches. In the near future, we'll want to buy them from you. Very well. So, let's pick up branches and fruit, I believe. And we can also pick up weeds. Let's clear up the area around our homes, actually. Yeah, that would be nice. Let's see. I see a branch right here. Pick up some weeds. Oranges! Can I shake the tree? Oh, I have to press A to do that, I see. Not Y, which is the button that we need to press to pick up things. Alright, alright, alright! Oranges, everybody! Nice! Ah, uh, one of you? Ah, uh, one of you! Ah, uh, one of you? But yeah, I enjoy playing as my favorite characters! As I was talking about it in the beginning. Um, and yeah, my two options were those, Marth or Sephiroth. <laughs> but can you imagine if I were Sephiroth? I feel like he wouldn't fit the vibe. <laughs> in Mythopia, I have my miss with Marth and with Sephiroth. I would love to show you one day. But I feel like for Mitopia we will also have to start clean, right? I am hoping that once the time... Well, let me see. Once the time comes that we have to play Mitopia, we will have enough original characters to fill it up with. For example, I would love to play Mitopia with Hammer from Dragon Quest Builders 2 and with Ash from Fire Farm. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? It will be fun. The crossover game. Maybe not just with my favorites of Marth and Sephiroth, but also with our buddies in other games. Let's talk with Mr. Nook. Thomas! Oh, good, good, Marth. It looks like you've managed to collect up the tree branches, hmm? You found even more than I asked. I only need the ten, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. I'll take what we need off your hands now. Take it, please. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh ho. <laughs> and speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like oranges, they smell like oranges, and they even taste like oranges. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine oranges. So, will you collect six of them for me? <laughs> I already have done that. Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough oranges for everyone, haven't you? I have. Will, Will. I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take this off your hands and get started on the preparations. Uh, take the oranges, please. Yay! <laughs> Alright! Oh, we're having a party. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. 
Festivities! Uh, uh, where's the match? There we go. Hooray! Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Ho ho! <laughs> now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that, with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... Uh, I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, huh? But what should we call it? And I have the perfect uh, name idea for it. I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of, our, of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, huh? <laughs> so, take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Suggest a name for the island. You can't change this. This can be seen by others during local slash online play, so pick an appropriate name. Well, you know me. This is Altea. <laughs> Mart's homeland. Altea! Are you okay with Altea? Uh, yes. All right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready? Go! Tommy Town, No Kids, Rocks a Lot, Altea, Buff, Blog? What splendid variety, yes, yes. Each one a potential gem. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order and you can clap for the one you think is best. Mart seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. <laughs> Let's start there. So Mart suggested... Altea. And I clap also. <laughs> wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Altea. Okay, it rocks. It sounds great. Absolutely. Splendid. Then, from now on, this island will be known as Altea. Well, Marth, since you've proven yourself by naming Altea, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you Resident Representative of Altea. Not Prince, so don't get a, <laughs> a hold of yourself. Marth, could you please say a word or two as a new spoke? person for your neighbors howdy i order two or you can count on me count on me everybody yay huh, so we've set a lot of name for our islands and we've selected our resident representative yay i'm representative it's been a big day but it's gotten rather late so let's have a toast yay orange juice <laughs> Everyone have a beverage in hand? Yes! It's fresh juice made from oranges our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Then, without further ado, a toast to Altea and the happiness of its residents! Cheers! Hooray! Cheers, everybody! Oh, that's cute. And we are free to move! Oh, it's a little body! <laughs> Look at it, it's so cute! <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's talk with our friend. Oh. Sitting around a campfire with cups of orange juice. It almost feels like we're family. You can call me bro. Alright, bro. <laughs> I will. My bro rolled. Hi, Deidre. Are you enjoying the evening? A party around a campfire on a deserted island? Wow! Now these rocks, what ifs? <laughs> I guess it does. We'll let this campfire burn for the rest of the night. Feel free to rest in your tent if you start to feel tired. Ah, 
Before you do that, though, there is something we need to give you. Please talk to Mr. Nook about it. Very well, but before I talk to him... We'll let this campfire burn for the rest of the night. Is it the same? Yes, it is the same. Okay, thank you. Hello, Thomas. Ah, oh, Marth, having a good time, yes, yes. I know this is all a, a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Uh, maybe I'll go do that. Sounds good to me, but first, you'll probably want this. What is it, mister? It's your very own camping cot. Oh, you'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well, hmm? Just a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use the things inside, press A. Okay, I press A. And when you're ready, you can move L to crawl into bed. Okay, so I just walk into it, pretty much. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all from me now. Sweet dreams, Marth. Yay! Our very first night in Altea. <laughs> I would love, love, love to turn this island's medieval theme with castles and knights and the like. But uh, I tried to do that whenever I played on my own, like one or two years ago. And let me say that those types of decorations don't come in easily. So I guess we'll just be Marth, Prince of Altea, but within a modern camping setting, I guess. <laughs> That's the majority of items that you get, modern items. But yeah, we'll see what we can do, right? We have radio, which we can turn on. <laughs> and the lamp, which we can turn on. And if I remember correctly, we can pick them up, right? Yep, alright. In the radio, we will put... Place item in this corner. Turn it on. Welcome Horizons is currently playing. Leave on. Can we rotate it? We can, alright. And let's see. My camping cot. Place item. Okay, can we rotate it? Let's grab it from this side. Okay, can we push it to the corner? All the way. All, all the way. Like that, alright. So yeah, this was the tutorial level. If we want to begin playing freely, we just have to go to bed. And fall asleep. <laughs> Rest my head for a little while. Rest. I'm getting sleepy. Yay! We finished day one in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hooray, hooray! We had a beautiful campfire event with all of our neighbors. Oh, we're having a dream. <laughs> Of course, we've all had the same dream of the dog with the guitar, right? <laughs> so, looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way right, Dario. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know. Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've gotta make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pulse. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time, 
Dig That Island Live, and I'll catch you later. Twin, 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 twin. Thank you, Dog of Dreams. <laughs> Marth, are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. Ah, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. Ah, and we can get up whenever we want, which is right now. <laughs> Good morning, black haired Marth. <laughs> All right, I wonder what Mr. Nook wants of us. Yeah, uh, oh, hold on, I do want to talk about a dream. I would love to play this game with other people, by the way. Yeah, that would be lovely. But this is only a five episode special, so... Well, we'll see what we can do, honestly. <laughs> Maybe not in this special we'll have... Uh, we'll invite people over. Maybe not during this special, but maybe in the future, if this becomes a legit playthrough, then yeah, I would love to invite b uh, travelers or maybe some friends over here. We'll see, we'll see. Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. <laughs> I slept that long? <laughs> <laughs> oh ho ho! Yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to, to life in our new little paradise. In our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? A phone! It's your very own Nook phone. I had this made especially for island residents. Thank you very much. Ah, I want to make sure it's working right. So could you try turning it on for me, hmm? Of course. Phone! Welcome! Ooh. Fancy. Good, good. It looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. I will put it away. Say, Marth, have you ever used a smartphone before? I'm sure Marth the character has not. <laughs> but... Sure have, I have one of my own. Nope, never. Mm. I'm trying to think, what would a person who doesn't know the game would pick? But I feel like everybody, or at least the majority of people has a smartphone, right? Sure have. Very good. Then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, these Nook phones are rather easier to operate than ordinary phones. <laughs> I'm guessing. Oh yes, we simply removed most of the features, oh ho. <laughs> I do that with my own phone in real life. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. My phone is only a machine to make calls and texts and occasionally open Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. I deleted Facebook and YouTube and everything. Ah, oh, yes, yes. There's also a very useful app that contains advice for living here. Normally, this would not be free or of charge. But as you're just getting started, consider it an extra bonus. It's called Island Live One on One. And it's a message delivery service of sorts. Feel like giving it a try, hmm? So it's kind of like tips. But like, yes, please. Okay, I'll need you to pull out your Nook phone again so I can send you the app. Mm, tips for beginners, that is. Yeah, we will take them. For the people who are new to the game. And I'm also kind of new because I haven't played it in a year. Perfect, perfect. You've now got the Island Life 101 app as well. You'll start getting messages once you're out and about doing things. Read them as they arrive, hmm? Very well. Alright, that's enough about the app for now. I do have one more thing for you, however. Yes? Paper. It's your itemized bill. Oh boy. <laughs> so, this includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone, hmm? 
bringing your new total to the mother sum of 49,800 bells money. Okay, bells on. What are bells? Uh, we, we can say okay, but let's ask for the people who don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 good one, Marth. Wait, you're being serious. <laughs> yes, of course. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Well, bells are a currency that can be exchanged for goods or services here on Altea. Ah, it's money in a few words. Ah, but there's still the problem that you don't actually have any. Ah, oh, yes, of course. I'm broke. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. For the gateway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bills. Miles instead of money? What does that mean? I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Mileage? What's that? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here in Altea. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your moving fees and much more. So, the bottom line is, you need almost 50,000 bells to pay your moving fees. But with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to, oh, 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can play, so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. And you'll see that you've earned some miles just from, for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Altea and a client of Nook Inc. Alright, so we are in debt, but that is alright. We can pay it with <laughs> actions. <laughs> My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! <laughs> From now on, island time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator in the top right screen corner. You can also save and quit your game by pressing minus. Alright! And we are free to move! See all to take out our phone. Oh yeah, we have a marker for each. Let's see, we have camera, nook miles, custom designs, map, passport, rescue service, and lastly, Island Life 101. Alright. Let's see, let's try each. Camera, take pictures using various filters and effects. The pictures will be saved to the album on the home menu and other users who use the same system will be able to see them. Very well. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's just this and then I'm going to press X and Y and R. I can move freely without the camera moving with me. and. I just pressed R, so that means that my character is going to be looking at the camera. And I can press it again for them to look away again. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Let's see, see all will be to add a filter. Look at that, look at that. I can show you, I can show you. Okay, let me go back to normal, there we go. And with all, we can add a frame. Date. Frame and date. All right, yeah, and uh, we've looped. Oh, a third time. All right, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, that's the camera. Very useful. Uh huh. Let's open this up. Nook Miles, you're enrolled in the Nook Mileage program. Next, earn earn Nook Miles for completing island activities. Next, then trade those miles for various perks and goods at the Nook. Nook stop in the resident service center. Make the most out of island life. Earn Nook miles. Goats. 
All right. Altea Miles, you traveled a long way just to move to our little island and you enrolled in the Nook Mileage program, so you earned your first miles. There are lots of ways to earn miles by just enjoying island life. Clean. Yay! You got title keywords. Fishing, getting bugs, and making friends. Yeah, so miles are activities that you can fulfill and they will help you pay your debt, pretty much. It's a, it's a way to, to make you play the game and try out the activities, basically. Also, we're almost within an hour. Let me pause a little bit so I can use the bathroom. I had some water. Let me see. I'll just open the phone, I guess. <laughs> All right, there we go. Custom designs, which we will not be looking into right now. Map, passport. Let's open the map. Check the map for your current location. You can also press X to change the settings and choose whether to display the minimap during your day-to-day -day activities. Alright, let's see. Minimap. Always off, always on. Yeah, I like that better actually. And we can see that we are right there between all of the little houses up here. Or more like down here. That's Rawls house. That's Daedra's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Anything else we want to check? Rescue service. It's if you get stuck somehow. <laughs> and Island Live. Let's see the tip. Island Live 101. Welcome to the Island One 101. <laughs> Check this app every day for useful tips about how to make the most of island living. Island Live 101 is a service of Nook Inc. No tips yet, stay tuned. <laughs> of course. Well, thank you, in any case. And here's our passport, which is... Uh, your passport information is sh shown here. This information may be seen by other players when visiting another island, for example. Yeah. You can change your photo, title, or comment at any time. Customize them to show off your style. Yeah, here it is. Our passport! Very first relocator. Well, for now, let's not customize it, alright? So, this is how we begin. We just have to make tasks of cleaning up the island and maybe doing a little bit of favors here and there and we'll pay our debt in no time the miles are a substitute for money however at some point we will get money in our pockets like real money bills so you can decide where to save them spend them or give them to help uh, pay your debt pretty much so it's not just miles. All right. I saw Daedra over here. Where did she go, I wonder? Look at our beautiful beach. Let's take this clam. Ah, Venus. Venus come. Hi, Daedra. How you doing? Mars, thanks a ton for earlier. I got my tent all up and running thanks to that pep talk. The brochure said we'd be living on an uninhabited island, so I was all ready to go solo, whatevs. I could totally go for having rock, has rock stars like you around, though. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. Alright. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about how to thank you, and I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Yay! <laughs> leaf umbrella. Thank you, Taitra. All right, so the first thing I thought when I got here was, now that's a lot of weeds. That's kind of where I got the idea. It's a DIY project that uses weeds. Nice! But if you've never done a DIY project before, you should ask Tom Nook to help you out. All right, will do. He's doing free DIY demos over at Resident Services. Oh, that would be very useful, actually. Let's see, let's also talk to our friend Rold. Hello, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm pumped about that spot you helped me pick out for my tent. Thanks for the push. 
I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have bodies, Papa Body. <laughs> Alright, I've got something here for you, Papa Body. Thanks again for finding a place for my place. <laughs> a hat! That denim cap is perfect for Altea. You can try it on by pressing X to open up your pockets. Then press A to select the item you want. Choose where if you want to put it on. You can always change later if you need to work out, Papa Body. Thank you, Rold. Okay. Oh. Notification. Island Togetherness. One of the goals of Nook Inc. is resident togetherness. Our gregarious greetings initiative aims to reward you with Nook Miles just for chatting with residents. Try to talk to all of your neighbors every day. Yay! Unhindered wallflower. Hooray! Let's make friends with our neighbors. What's that's our little guy? Hello. Are you Timmy or Tommy? He's Tommy. Oh, Marth, it's great to see you. The campfire was a lot of fun. We're keeping resident services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and about checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. Very well. Now, how about we do and take that tutorial with Mr. Thomas? <laughs> Also, I think that every time there's a bird on a notice board, it means that there's new messages, right? Yeah. Let's see. Island residents and visitors alike should feel free to use the bulletin board to communicate with each other, celebrate special events and more. And the next one is, we'll use this board to post important notices and other useful bits of information for everyone. Yes, yes. Very well. And yeah, you can post things. And draw it, of course. Let's see. Yeah, I can draw with my pro controller. But I think this would have been easier. Oh, colors. If <laughs> we had the smash, the, the smash, the console on handheld mode and we could do it with our fingers. But let's just mm, draw ourselves. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Perfect. And let's try it with blue color. My like that. <laughs> Kinda. Right? And a heart. And a star. It's more like a flower, but sure. <laughs> star flower. There we go. I am finished. Yay, everybody. Look at my beautiful art. Alright. Oh, <laughs> I got Nook Miles for that. Let's see. Where could that be? There we go. Bulletin board benefit. Picture this. Getting Nook Miles from Nook Inc. The first time you write something on an island's bulletin board. Keep using bulletin boards to communicate with everyone on the island, yes, yes. Yay! Rumor mongering influencer. <laughs> Rumor mongering. That's one word that I've never heard before. Rumor mongering. Oh, maybe we can use it to trash talk people. But no, let's not do that. Hello. Ah, Marth. Welcome, welcome. As you can see, it is quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable, huh? <laughs> Let me know if you need then any advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in your little paradise. And if you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Oh, he purchases things. 
Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous, yes, yes? Yeah, very generous. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it will be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it. Hmm? I will. Let's talk business. What would you like to talk about to me about? Wait, <laughs> what would you like to talk to me about? Oh yeah, 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 I'm all ears. About that workshop. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. Yay! I think you will be quite useful for Island Live, hmm? So, shall I put you down for the next available session? I would love to. Oh, DIY means do it yourself. It's an acronym. I'd love to. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. Yay, tutorial on how to build things. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit, hmm? <laughs> when you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe and then craft using a workbench like this one. So, today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere, yes? For this particular recipe, we require mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see me once you've collected the materials, hmm? Uh, do I? No, I don't. Okay. Also, wait. Denim cap, where? Yay! And leaf umbrella, learn. Is this a DIY recipe? I wonder how can I memorize it? Ah, oh, see, it's because we don't know how to build things just yet. Very well. There's our first task, everybody. Let's collect three more branches. <laughs> right? Here's one. Here's a rock. And that's all. <laughs> Let's look around, shall we? Shall we? Whoa, 10 subscribers special. Whoa, 10 subscribers special. Well, I don't have a subscriber goal. So let's just say that I'm looking forward to 11 subscribers. <laughs> That's the subscriber goal. <laughs> What's up with this? Oh, wait, I remember. I remember. Because it's winter and it's snowing, we have these balls around which we can roll and make a snowman out of. Only during the winter, of course. Hmm. I wonder where the other one could be. Let's find it. Oh, there it is. Oh, and it's being rolled out by a pug. Out of here, pug. It's best if we don't keep them too separate, you know. I guess we can roll it where we'll find branches. That looks like a good size. I am unsure as to what's the maximum size for a snowball. Let's see. Does that look good for a head? Maybe a little bit bigger, right? Let's see. How about uh, this? Attack! Ta-da! Snowboy! Uh, nice to meet you! Finally! We can talk face to face! I was eager to meet you, even when I was still just a million little flakes. Nice work rolling me up, bud. As you can see, I'm Snowboy! I won't last forever, so let's have some fun on this island while we can. Now listen! To thank you for making me, I want to share some knowledge about how to craft a special item. Wait, hang on! You've never done DIY before, have you? Like, not even once! <laughs> that's right! Well, that's a problem. Even if I taught you this recipe, you wouldn't know where to begin. Tell you what, 
I'll just put the recipe on a message card and then I'll send it to you later. Very well! I've heard there's an amazing DIY workshop available for you at over at Resident Services. They'll teach you what's what, so go take that class right away. Then you can try making my special item. And take a large snowflake too, it's required to craft the item. I place it with your belongings, use it to make a special item of mine. Your snow crafting sensibilities are admirable. For your first snowfolk, I look pretty good. Snowfolk! With just a little more practice, I'm sure you can build a perfect me. Alright, I hope you'll craft me again. I'll be monitoring your snowgress. <laughs> Maybe you'll make me with a better sense of humor next time. <laughs> Alright. Very well. But yeah. Winter special crafting items are a thing. There are special crafting items for each season. Which I hope I get to see someday. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see. How many branches do we have right now? Six. Which are enough for what we need in any case. But if we see any more, we'll pick it up, alright? Uh -huh. I don't see any more, so I guess that's it. Of course, you can shake trees to get more branches. Infinite! An infinite amount of branches just by shaking trees. But you see, you also risk of getting stung by a bee, and I don't want that. <laughs> Not at least on the first episode, you know? Feel free to chat with me anytime if there's anything to help it. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Have you heard about a DIY workshop our boss offers in resident services? I am currently taking it. Okay. Thank you. Let me come this way. And open and in. Alright. Yeah, uh, 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 10 subscribers special. Hello, Thomas. He puts away his book. Ah, oh, Mar. Found the necessary materials, hmm? Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod, yes, yes? To begin, you select a project from the workpage and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. Very well, let's come this way. Ah, flimsy fishing rod. Uh, crafted. Let's do it! Smack, smack. Cut, cut. Patch, patch. I made a flimsy fishing rod! Yay, it's our first thing! <laughs> yes, that was perfect! As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes, hmm? And that concludes my free DIY workshop! Oh, there's just one last thing! I have a few common DIY recipes for you, free of charge, naturally! Yay, I love free things! I just need to spend them to send them! To your nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Text message. DIY recipes. Splendid. Thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. And the flimsy, f flimsy vision rod. You just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever. But it should serve you well for a little while at last. At least. Speaking of fishing, I am no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips, hmm? In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. Yes, yes. I would love to see anything you've managed to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. Yay! Alright! Let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. Can I sell some of the stuff that I have in my pockets? Ah, welcome, welcome! You don't waste any time, do you? Oh! We're still setting up, but for starters, we intend to offer a small selection of goods for our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll have... We'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. I'll take a look. Great! I have zero money, sleeping bag and a barbecue. Oh, gorgeous. 
Anything got your eye? We're not just sellers, but also buy things from you, including stuff gathered on this island. And because we want to support efforts to beautify the island, we'll even pay you a little bean in return for any weeds or trash you bring in. If you want to know whether we'll buy something, just ask. Very well. Uh, can you please, can I please sell you some of this stuff? I want to sell. Of course. What exactly are you offering? Let's see this, this, and this. Yes, confirm. Look at all the funny things you brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. Uh -huh. And done. I can buy this for a total of 1,260 bells. Sound good? Sold. Thank you. Please come again. And we have money now. Oh, and we got miles for that. Let's see. If I use the R stick down, it takes me automatically to the one that I have to collect. Seller of unwanted stuff. Selling things you don't need is a great way to keep down the clutter and earn a few extra bells. And in this case, a few extra miles. Hooray for your first sale. Money! Down and out eventuality. <laughs> Those keywords that the Nook Miles give you, you can use them in your passport to change your title. Yeah, pretty much. So you can customize it and all. It's a shame that we can't jump in Animal Crossing. Ah, pick up. Okay. So I can be like in Fair Farm, like, woo! Wee <laughs> You know. Also, now we can fish. Uh, and we can also DIY. Let's learn this. Learn. Huh, okay. Sweet! I learned a DIY recipe for a leaf umbrella. Nice. Anything else? Nope. Hold. Let's see, how does this work? Let me change the... Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> Not like that, apparently. Also, can you hear that noise, by the way? It's like a soft... Well, allow me to explain. I turn on my humidifier. That's what you're hearing. The humidification. <laughs> it's just blowing wet air, basically. And I put it next to my face. That's why it's louder near the microphone. Hey, are you seeing this? Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nice. Yes! I caught a bitterling. It's mad at me, but only a little. <laughs> bitterling! Our very first fish. I will catch you, big boy. Don't ignore me, big boy. <laughs> Come on, turn around, friend. I'm too afraid to move. All right. Let me try again. Um, I don't think I can reach him. Oh, alright. Ah, he went that way. How about this? Ah, nope. Boy, oh boy, alright. Come on, big fish. There you go. Alright! If there's anything I've learned from fishing in Stardew Valley... Yes! I caught a black bass. The most metal of all fish. Awesome! <laughs> the black bass. My bass is blue. <laughs> My bass guitar. <laughs> if there's anything I've learned from playing Stardew Valley on a playthrough... Is that I should not trust my ears. Oh, and I should trust only the visuals. I see that some people rely on the on the sounds alone. But no, 
I know that the sound that I hear in my earphones is a little bit delayed. Oh, I messed that up. Well, that's that. How do I put it away? Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> the reflexes. I wonder if we can make more tools. Let's see. Before the episode ends, that is. I will try to see how to accommodate each episode. Hopefully... Mm, I can get at least one episode where it's night time. And maybe one where it's the afternoon, I'll try to see. In the afternoon, it's, it's less likely that I play games. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Also, there are days where I'm not entirely available to play games. <laughs> I think that's all the branches that I can find. For example, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and uh, Fridays. I'm not available. And then I also have to spend time practicing my bass guitar, speaking of basses. <laughs> well, uh, I think I can make some time. That's why I made this decision in the first place. But I'll see what I can do to change it up, you know? The time zones. More like just the time. Oh, I can't get that. Okay. Let me check the DIY tables. <laughs> Yeah, I would love to turn this island into a castle and have lords and princesses and knights. But as I said earlier, the things of Seth themes are a little bit hard to come by. Let's do it. And they are definitely not uh, starting game items. Hey, made a flimsy net. All done for now. That's all I can make right now. Let's check this up. Oh, how could I forget, hmm? I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our nook stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment you can use two services, Marth. The first is nook shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to, fi can be hard to find on an island. Second, this terminal serves as an automatic bell dispenser or ABD for the bank of Nook. The bank! We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. Yes, yes. Welcome to Nook Stop, a multimedia terminal for from Nooking. Once per day, accessing the Nook Stop will award you bonus daily miles. Day 1, 50 bonus miles. Nice! Please select from the following services. So yeah, it's a bank system. This one I mean. Because there's only a limit to how much money you can carry in your pockets. However, we are nowhere near that limit, so we're gonna leave it alone for now. <laughs> Please select from the following services. And let's see what we can buy with our miles. Let's see, it's mostly decorations and stuff. World map, tulip hat, oval glasses t-shirts oh those are cute rainy boots and the song let's see promotion which we can buy uh, <laughs> mario the themed items super mario they are beautiful decorations by the way but i think that we should save our miles <laughs> we can of course wear the full outfits we should save our miles for, uh, you know, paying our debt pretty much. It's one we can use for our house once we get a house, basically. Right now we live on a tent. Oh, there's a carnival right now happening. Oh, Groundhog Day. <laughs> Resetting model. Oh, I know him from Smash. I miss him. Sets bun. Fiery cheer. 
Big Game Celebration. Big Game Celebration. <laughs> Alright. Seasonal. Alright. Yeah, yeah, okay. We will eventually get the option to buy more colors to customize the hair of our character. So we can have a blue haired Marth, but we will not worry about that just now. But alright. Uh huh, yeah, we hit the 1 hour and 20 minute mark. It's as a matter of fact, 1 hour and 25 minutes. So, alright. That's about it, everybody. Yay! <laughs> 10 subscribers, can you believe that? I started this channel because I am at the pits, the bottom of my life. <laughs> Sounds really dramatic. But yeah, I could elaborate, but no, I won't. <laughs> not here, not now at least. Maybe later. Once I'm playing Stardew Valley and I'm trying to fill time. <laughs> like when I speak about Breaking Bad and all my shows. But yeah. Uh, you know, this has been really nice. Let me talk about this just before I go <laughs> to bed. I was gonna say, but no. I end the episode. Yeah, this has been really nice. I've been having a lot of time. I think I've done like about between 30 to 35 videos, uh, which I have been published by now. And you know, I've been feeling great. At first, my first episodes. Of all my playthroughs, of the three playthroughs that are going on right now, I was very, very nervous. Because it's something new to try on, you know? I gave myself a little push and said to myself, you know what? It's about time I did it. I took my bravery up and recorded my first video. And yeah, you can tell by the first videos that I was rather nervous and a little bit anxious but yeah it's been 30 episodes 30 videos and i'm starting to feel comfortable around it comfortable enough to add a face cam as you noticed in the latest episode of stardew valley but yeah slowly but surely i am finding my footing and my own voice and learning more about myself and the way that i act whenever i'm getting recorded this has been very enlightening, enlightening, honestly, to get to know myself better, <laughs> because you get to see yourself, well, in this case, in this case, hear yourself, over and over, the repetition, you know, and, uh, but yeah, this has been quite the adventure, I am having a lot of fun, I don't think I will be stopping anytime soon, of course, uh, but at the same time, there are times where I, I am just like, well, I'll do something else for now. So, of course, I have I am not the kind of person to stick to a schedule. I feel like, yeah, I'm doing this for fun, and, and I sure I'm having fun. But yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Those are my thoughts about my experience so far with YouTube. And I am very glad that I get to have 10 subscribers now to my channel i feel very grateful yeah thank you so much for giving me this opportunity of being part of the people that you subscribe it to travelers adventurers and the like uh yeah uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy this special episode and i will see you around all right promise me that you will take care all right Watch out for the allergies if you have any like me. <laughs> and see you around. Bye.